guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello, welcome. I am so happy you decided to stop by. Today, I'm just going to be doing a little get ready with me, kind of like a chit chat, talk through, just catching you guys up on what's been going on in my life. I'm gonna try my best not to make this video like too, too long. So it's not gonna be very makeup tutorially, but more just kind of like talking to you guys, letting you guys know what's been up. I am gonna uh, like teach you guys how to do the eye look because I am gonna be using the uh, Norvina palette from Anastasia and a lot of you guys asked me to do a look with this. So that's what I'm going to be doing today for you guys. But yeah, I think that's all I have to say for right now. So if you guys would like to get ready with me, then just keep on watching. So my eyebrows are already done and my eyes are primed. I just didn't wanna be here all day. So I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right into my Norvina palette. I'm gonna take the color Incense and just pop that into my crease as my transition shade. So as you guys can see, my hair is straight again. I know, I know I'm probably gonna get some people in the comments who are like, you're going to damage your hair. <sighs> I'm not, I'm not guys, okay, I'm not. So the reason I've been getting my hair straightened so much is one, I got my hair straightened in April for my birthday. I always straighten my hair on my birthday just because it just marks a year since the last time I straightened my hair. And then I straightened my hair again in July because I competed in a pageant the Miss Baton Rouge pageant. And I wanted to compete with my natural hair, but <laughs> my older sister was like, no, you're not gonna do that because that's not what they're looking for. So I got my hair straightened and put extensions in for the pageant. I ended up getting first runner up and I was kind of bummed about that because I wanted to compete in this pageant and win because if you win a preliminary pageant, then you get to go on to compete for your state pageant. So I really wanted to compete for Miss Louisiana and I didn't wanna to have to pay the entry fee. So I competed in the Miss Baton Rouge pageant in order to not have to pay to get into Miss Louisiana. But I ended up getting fresh runner up and I was kind of bummed, but I still decided that I was gonna compete in the Miss Louisiana pageant. So, which brings me to why my hair is straightened now. I had to take headshots a few days ago and I just got my hair straightened again. And <laughs> it's gonna be straightened one more time in October because that is when the Miss Louisiana pageant is. So this year I will have straightened my hair four times, which is like a record for me in a very long time. Like usually I don't straighten my hair no more than twice a year, but circumstances came up to where I just needed to have it straightened. Now I'm gonna take the color Eccentric and put that into my crease and my outer corner and I'm just using the brush that came in the palette. I actually like the brushes that come in the Anastasia palettes. They're really good. Now for me personally, I did want to compete with my hair curly and natural. But my older sister, she was like, no, we're not gonna do that because that's not really what they're looking for. Um, and I'm really trying to win Miss Louisiana so I can go and compete for Miss USA. Like that is one of my dreams and one of my goals that I have set for myself is to compete for Miss USA. And they've already had two black Miss USAs back to back. And the previous Miss USA that we just had had natural hair so my sister's thing was the miss louisiana organization is trying to find someone who is going to compete and win at nationals miss usa and they've already had a natural haired miss usa and they're probably not going to pick another one so that's kind of why she told me not to um compete with my natural hair which kind of makes sense um but it was still just kind of upsetting to me because Miss Louisiana has never had a natural hair title holder. So I would have loved to have been the first one to compete with my natural hair and win. Maybe if I don't win this year, I'll compete again. But I keep telling myself that if I don't win at Miss Louisiana this year, that this will be my last time doing it just because it costs a lot of money, guys. Like, if you don't win a preliminary pageant, it costs so much money. And it's literally insane. 
So, I don't know. I'm still like thinking on it, but if I do win, then that's great and I get to go compete for Miss USA and that's like my dream. But if I don't win, I'll have to really think on if I want to compete again for the next year because ugh, it's just so expensive, guys. And it's so nerve wracking. And this will be my second time competing for Miss Louisiana. The first time I competed was back in 2015 and I made it into the top 15. Um, so this will be my second time competing and hopefully it's not as nerve-wracking as the first time I competed because I was so scared. I had never competed in anything like that before. I was never really a pageant person. My sister is the one who got me into pageants and I mean after that I just kind of fell in love with it. But I couldn't really compete anymore after that because I was playing volleyball at school at my college and it was taking up all of my precious time. <laughs> right now I'm just gonna cut my crease with um, my ColourPop No Filter Concealer. Now I'm gonna pick up Summer, which is this gorgeous gold, like, oh my gosh, it is so pretty. I'm gonna pop that on my lid. I'm gonna take a little bit more of Eccentric and also Passion and focus that on the outer part of my eye. I'm gonna get back to talking in a second, guys. I'm just trying to finish this eye look because I don't wanna use all of the things I have to talk about on my eyes and then have the rest of the video be nothing, so. Wow, guys, this is so pretty. Oh my gosh. I'm quickly just going to line my upper lash line with this uh, Stila mascara, give myself maybe a little baby wing, pop on my lashes, and then I'll be right back to continue our chit chat so while i'm running on my lashes to dry i'm just gonna go ahead and prime my face first i'm gonna take my maria badescu rose water spray and just ah i needed that <laughs> now i'm just taking my fenty beauty primer which is basically all out so i have to do it like this i need to buy some more like really bad i love this primer and i have oily skin and this is a pretty like well I have normal to oily skin and this is a pretty hydrating primer but I feel like if you have oily skin and you hydrate your skin like if you use a hydrating primer then your face won't feel like it has to produce so much oil throughout the day so you'll actually be less oily if that like made any sense <laughs> I have been trying out this ColourPop foundation for like the past few days and I'm still trying to figure out if I like it or not. Um, but I'm just going to take that on my Eco Tools sponge and just kind of like bounce it around. So as you guys know, I am currently in graduate school and I just finished my first week, which was interesting um <laughs> for starters i am the only black person in my class well in one of my classes in both of my other classes there's me and another black girl but that's still very different for me especially since i went to an hbcu <laughs> um so and i mean it's not like i've never been around white people like i went to a predominantly white high school I don't know it was it's just a different environment that i haven't been in in a very long time so i kind of felt out of place to be honest um but i'm sure i'll get over it and i'll just have to deal with it but it was just different and i remember i walked into my first class and everybody was like already in there and the class still wasn't supposed to start for like another 15 minutes um so everybody was like really early and they were all just in there talking about oh did you print out the syllabus did you guys get the textbook did y'all read that we were supposed to do this this and this and i'm just looking around like i didn't look at no syllabus i have no textbook and i don't know what you guys are talking about and they were just uh they were just doing the most like I was like, y'all, it is the first day of school. Calm down, okay? I knew some of the people in my class already just because we had went to the orientation and interview day together. So it's not like I didn't really know anybody in my class. 
it was just like they were doing the absolute most and freaking out i was like y'all calm down and they were like we're gonna go print this we're gonna go print this and i was like okay like go ahead <laughs> and the teacher came in and she was like oh i printed this for you guys and i was like see y'all freaking out over nothing but it was all our very first like graduate school class like all of us were just starting graduate school so I mean, we were all like pretty nervous and didn't know what to expect, but after my first week, I can say I don't think it's going to be that difficult, well at least this semester, I can't speak for other semesters. But my classes are pretty interesting, I didn't think I was going to like my classes, but I actually really do, and my professors are nice, so that's good. I just know for one of my classes, which is ethics. Um, if you guys don't know, I'm going to school for counseling and there's an ethical guideline that we as counselors have to follow. So we have to take a class on ethics, which is going to be like horribly boring. But he gave us an assignment to go and visit seven different websites. Seven. Okay. And we had to basically write a summary on what we found on each website. And I was like, oh, this is going to be so easy. Like, we're just writing what's on the website. But it took me forever. So writing seven of those, I was like, oh my gosh. And then I didn't even really know, like, what to write or how to write it. Because, like, this is graduate level. Like, I can't BS this at all. But I just, you know, I wrote what I thought was going to work. I still haven't gotten my grade back on it. Hopefully I get an A. Um, but if not, then I'll just have to do better on the next assignment. <laughs> and I only have to go twice a week, but the drive is like an hour away from my house. So I'm going to have to get gas all the time, like at least twice a week, which sucks. But I got to do what I got to do. <laughs> And that was the first time I used the ColourPop foundation with a sponge. And I actually really like it right now with a sponge because I was using it with the brushes and I didn't like the finish, I didn't like the cover, I didn't like any of it. But I love the way it's looking, blending it out with a sponge. Oh, I forgot about my lashes. No. Okay. I am, ugh, I am so mad. I'm, I gotta put some more glue on these. Gosh darn, I'm just in here doing whatever. Man. So while I wait on my lashes to dry again, I'm gonna finish up my bottom lash line. And this is like my least favorite part of doing my makeup. I honestly don't know why, it just bugs me. But I'm just gonna take incense and drag that down. And then take eccentric and do the same thing. And then a little bit of passion on the outer part. Ariana Grande's new album, Sweetener, came out, what, last week or a few weeks ago? And I am in love. I have been listening to it nonstop. Ariana Grande is one of my favorite singers ever. Like, she's just a beautiful singer, a beautiful person inside and out. And I just absolutely love her. If you guys have not listened to Sweetener yet, I need you to fix your life, okay? <laughs> no, but seriously, it's really good, guys. It's not like her old stuff. It's very, very different. And I know some people don't like when artists change up their sound or how they do their music, but um, I love it. So anything she does, I will support. And I'm telling you guys to support her. I'm gonna pop on my lashes really quick and I'll be right back. All right, I'm gonna contour slash bronze up my face because I look like a ghost right now and I'm just gonna be using my Black Radiance True Complexion. <laughs> Complexion? Complexion Contour Palette, okay? I'm like super sad that summer is over because I am definitely a summer person. I, like, I love the summer. I hate being cold. I would much rather be hot than cold. But I'm actually pretty excited for fall because I feel like my fashion sense comes out and elevates in the fall like there's only so many things you can wear in the summertime but the fall is like 
you have more choices, more options. Like you can layer things and wear boots and boots are my favorite thing to wear. Um, so yeah, I love the summer, but I'm really excited to start dressing for fall. And I do plan on doing like a fall lookbook, clothing haul type of video when it does get closer to that time. I have so many video ideas, guys. Like, I just have a whole note section in my phone of videos that I want to do. So, I just really hope, like, school doesn't take up a lot of my time because there's so many videos that I still have to film or, like, don't have to film but want to film for y'all. Like, I want to do, like, a top five deep conditioners, a top five styling products, top five shampoos. I want to do back to school videos. Like, I don't know if it's too late for that. Like, if I did back to school videos, I would have to do that like now because <laughs> mostly everybody is already back in school, but I do want to do a um, back to school hairstyles video, back to school makeup tutorial. Um, if y'all want to see that, let me know because I don't even know how many of you guys are still in school. And speaking of school, my brother literally gets off the bus like any minute now <laughs> and I have to go get him. For highlight, I'm just going to my Carly Bible palette and I'm gonna use this pretty gold shade right here. This is like really dirty and trashy. Like I, this was the first eyeshadow palette I ever bought guys. And I didn't even know who Carly Bible was at the time. I just was thinking of saving money like I was like, oh, it's got highlighter and eyeshadow all in one, so I don't have to go and buy <laughs> at, like separate highlighters. And I have had this palette for about three years now. I rarely use it for eyeshadow, I, but I really love the highlighters in here. I'm gonna take Dreamer from the Norvina palette and pop that on my inner corners and to highlight my brow bone. Oh God, that got in my eye. Ah. I'm gonna set my face with my Milani Make It Last setting spray, one of my faves. And then lastly for my lips, I'm gonna line them with my NYX Brown Lip Liner, which needs to be sharpened, but I don't have a sharpener at the moment, so it's literally like down to the nub and I need to sharpen it really, really bad. I used to be one of those people who never wore lip liner. But now that I started wearing the planner, I can't stop. Okay, that like barely went on there, but you guys get the drift. Um, I'm like rushing because my brother gets off the bus in a few minutes and I have to go get him. Okay, this is the, um, do I wanna do this? Um, no, I don't, I don't. <laughs> oh, my other lip gloss is in my car, so. Dang it! <laughs> Alright, so this is the uh, Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Nude Thrill. This has been one of my favorite lip combos lately. It's like so neutral. Neutral? Nude? Ugh, I can't talk. I'm in a rush, guys. I'm so sorry. Like, this was not supposed to go like this. <laughs> and to top it off, I'm gonna use my Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm. This is my fave. All right, you guys, that will complete this look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna go get my brother off the bus now, but really, thank you so much for watching. I'm so sorry I was like rushing at the last minute. Like, ugh, I hate being rushed. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking now. Thank you guys so much. I love you. I will see you guys in my next one. Adios.